hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are older thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a wedding jota including a calendar at the back so without any further ado let's get started so this is the designing background now and as you can see the guideline has already been set so if you want to know how to create a guideline then check in the link i have placed a, a link in the description that will enable you to know how to create a guideline especially the previous design that i did so all right let's continue and over here then you import this station then place it at the top of the rectangle then right click and create a clipping mask then also then import the design over here then right click and flip it horizontal reduce the size then you position it at the top here over here okay then go back to your resource file and import this one flip it horizontal and flip it vertical again then you reduce the size and drag it over here then you can now reduce it more then right click and create a clipping mask then the image i'm going to use they are already here and the background has already been removed so if you want to know how to remove the background then i will place the link in the description then you can go through it different way to remove a background then you will see it over there All right, so having set it, then I'm going to import this creative design here. Then reduce the size. Then position it at the suitable position. And here it's okay. All right, so we are going to create a perfect rent uh, cycle by holding your shift key then change the color to white then take it to this position and take it back by dragging it behind the design then over here also i will import this background image over here then rasterize it so there is a background on it so i'm going to remove it by selecting your magic tool then you click on it and delete it then select your rectangle marker tool then you select the right up over there and delete it now you can place it in this cycle so you can adjust it the way you want it to be all right i think it's okay like this so the next thing we are going to do now after after grating all this one now we are going to our test the font is here so and all the tests we are needed is here so i'm going to link the font in the description so that you can get it and make use of it in the under the test document so i'm going to select your test document i mean your your test tool then you paste the one you copy change the font so I'm using the font Gabriola. Then remove the character spacing by 0%. Then you drag it over this position. Then you drag it down to duplicate it or you press Ctrl plus J. Now you can bring this one down 
and then reduce the size of this one go back to your test then make a copy of this one ctrl plus a to copy then ctrl plus v to paste also change the font to broader signature then i'm positioning it to this area you think is best for you i think this is okay something like this okay then the next thing now that i'm going to reduce the size of the font So I'm going to increase this one a little. All right. Then go to your test document and make a copy. Then select your test tool or you press T using your keyboard. Now control plus V to paste. Then you drag it over here. Increase the size. Then make a duplicate of it by dragging it down. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus A to highlight. Then you type this one. Then make a duplicate of it and bring it down. Then highlight it. Go to your test document and make a copy. Control plus A to copy. Then Control plus V to paste. Then I'm going to reduce this one so that the name can be fixed well. Something like this. Okay, so always ensure that you zoom in and zoom out so that you see the outcome of the work. Then Ctrl plus V to paste this one. And then I'm going to change the font then to Balo, then make it bold and reduce the font size. Then I'm going to apply a character spacing to 60 is okay. Then you can make it more open or make it more close. So any of the one you want, then you apply. All right. So now I'm going to reduce the size. And yeah, it's okay. So now we are through with this one. So the next one, now, then we are going to the back cover. Then what I did is to select it and group the test. So to select, always remember you hold your shift key while you select them. So now then we are going to draw a went angle. Also import this texture then and place it over here then right click and create a clipping mask
bring this background image then place on top of it then apply Gaussian blur then make use of this setting then create a clipping mask all right then i'm going to copy this one select your test tool the ctrl plus v to paste now change the font to from bold to medium reduce the size So as you can see, I increase the size of the character spacing, then reduce the size of the font, something like this. Okay, so now I'm going to import this calendar. And for those of you who want to know how to create a calendar, then please let me know under the comment section so that I'm going to greet a time and uh, tutor you on how to greet a calendar. So this is the calendar and this calendar is the previous year calendar. So now rasterize the calendar as you can see. So the next thing I'm then select your rectangle market tool and I'm going to highlight the area I'm going to cut out. Then right click and cut it out then i'm going to position it where i want it to be then select the calendar again also this one i'm going to cut it out and we turn this one off this one is 2024 calendar so since that one is not complete then i'm going to leave that one and make use of this one then right click and cut it so you continue like this until then all of them are set so i'm going to fast forward here all right so as you can see all are set now so having set all of them like this then so just the next thing that we do now you can see that i put a guideline then to make sure that all of them are arranged properly so now we continue and here yeah, this is our appreciation then go back and close the character spacing by zero percent and change the font to broader signature all right then after this one the next thing i'm going to do now then is to apply a divider okay then before then this is the image we are going to use at the back here so i will position it over here then apply a layer mask and blend the bottom here then 
then convert it to smart object reduce the opacity to 17 percent so now then we are going to copy the appreciation later then select on this one apply a new layer so that we can now create a divider so then this is the divider i'm going to use then make sure that your brush is turned to black all right okay so you can see the effect of it reduce the size things look okay like this okay then change the fonts and uh, reduce the font size to 13 percent is okay then ctrl plus v to paste your appreciation letter then apply center alignment then arrange it properly then apply center alignment so having done that one now so the next thing i'm going to duplicate the divider by pressing ctrl plus j or you drag it down to that duplicate area so okay now the next thing great a rectangle over here then change the font color and reduce the opacity something like this is okay then i'll copy the last test select the test to the control plus v to paste then you position it over here then i'm going to highlight this one and change the font something like this so if you don't want it then you can leave it without changing the font so it's not necessary but if you want something like a design then you can do something like this all right then reduce the font size and the rent angle all together then now so here is where you will indicate the printer as a label something like that so if you want to market your design So what you are seeing now then i'm creating a label as for example so this label now enable people that see this jota now so who is willing to design a jota can now patronize you through this label you are indicating here so this is a sign of who design and who do the printing so something like this so you indicate your label then you place it so by doing this then other customer can locate you through your contact so all right something like this you can make it more fashionable anyhow you want to do it and you can do it in a fashionable way all right so then we'll remove the character spacing by 0% then now you can increase it something like this then you can apply any color of your choice then to make it more fashionable or somehow okay then something like this
if possibly you want to greet a background for it then you can greet a background if you have a logo then you can put a logo on it and make it in a simple and understanding way thank you so as you can see then we are done with uh, the design thank you so much if you like the design please kindly subscribe turn on the notification bell and get, so that you will get notified anytime i upload a new video and don't forget to order any of your design through my fiverr account and if you want to create you can also create through the link over there thank you so much for following